The O'Fallon, Missouri community continuing to mourn the loss of a nine-year-old girl who was struck and killed by a school bus. New at 6, Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins has more on how the support for the victim's family following this tragic loss. Well, the tragedy all unfolded here near Lupine in Snowburg, where this makeshift memorial continues to grow, where the nine-year-old girl was struck by the school bus. People have been stopping by here all day bringing stuff, animals, and flowers in honor of the victim, and the community is coming together to do everything they can to support the victim's family. It's been a week of mourning after a nine-year-old Fort Zumwalt student was struck and killed by a school bus leaving an O'Fallon, Missouri community heartbroken and wondering how they can help the victim's grieving family. Business owner and neighbor Ryan Kaufman organized a fundraiser with the goal of raising $25,000. It's almost reached that. I just felt drawn to the, to the situation. Um, I, have a, I have three kids as well, and I really just felt the, the desire, the need to help as much as I could. Kaufman is also calling on the O'Fallon community to lend a helping hand. To raise funds in order for them to be able to grieve in peace without thinking of any kind of financial uh, hardships or burdens that, they're, that they have to still carry on with. Um, and so I just figured that the, the best way to help in that situation or with that what was going on uh, was to raise as much money as possible. He says he's reached out to the victim's family and they are moved by the kind gesture. They were really touched and uh, felt very appreciative that uh, the community had come together uh, in order to help support the, the situation that had unfortunately came about. The investigation continues into how the tragedy all unfolded and the bus driver is cooperating with authorities. For more information on how you can help the victim's family, you can log on to our website. Reporting in O'Fallon, Missouri, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.